Aquarius family, welcome to your full moon in Cancer reading. Aquarius, I'm also planning on doing a twin flame reading for you as well on Patreon, so look out for that. All right, I'll announce it on the community board. Also, I do have names picked out, winners. Um, I'm going to post it on the community board as well as on Instagram. And um, if you see your name, um, email me at infinitelovetarot at gmail.com so we can schedule your... Um, your giveaway reading. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, family, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for donating to the channel, and for scheduling readings with me. The information will be in the description box below. I'm still running my special. Um, one question, 11, 11, two questions, 22, 22, three questions, 33, 33. You can email me at infinitelovetarot at gmail.com with your question. I'll either email you your full spread, or we can schedule a face-to-face -face, uh, uh live so you can see the cards okay um and we'll be using whatsapp for that all right family um i'm gonna say my prayer and let's just get into it uh the energy feels good if you watched uh, the reading the i definitely recommend you watching the full moon reading for the collective um you know it always kind of brings everything together um all right let's go Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. All right, I'm going to start with the queen of the moon. I'm going to split the deck here. We have fruition. Oh, <laughs> there is, uh, this is that, this is that, what is it? Seven of pentacles. Everything coming to, everything you invested your time, energy, and effort into. Your manifestations is coming to fruition for you at this time. All right, we like the sound of that. Your, your hard work is paying off. Patience is paying off. Okay, so little by little, uh, manifestations trickling in. There it is again. Work through your fears when it comes to co-creating and um, stepping into your new beginning, your change. Okay. What else for? A yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look at the beautiful energy of growth. So much growth. So much. We grow when we finally master the lesson, right? When we learn the lesson. So, you know, when we face adversity, face the challenges uh, and release resistance. Okay. Uh, that, so we can grow. We can expand. Uh, today, a couple energies came through and I want to share it with you guys. Um we have easy does it came through your you there's no need to hurry or force things to happen everything's occurring in perfect divine timing and also god blossoming came through as well you are just getting started have so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up so important energies right when it comes to this growth process growing pains it's not easy i also picked up on uh, and i posted on the community board a couple of meditations and some information on um, emotional exhaustion, okay? So if you guys are feeling fatigued, tired, drained, lack of motivation, definitely look into these meditations. Um, you could be experiencing some form of burnout, okay? Due to stress and emotional overwhelm. So yeah, what else here? What is the main energy for the full moon in Cancer for Aquarius? We have focus, abundance, Ooh, come through beauty here. I only wanted one, but it keeps coming and balance. So let's see. We have focus again with the drowning in your emotions, right? With the water here and the butterfly. 
Okay, going through an awakening, going through a transformation, stay focused. How we're going to do that is by grounding ourselves. So there could be a healing that's taking place in the sacral area on how we see ourselves, how we take care of ourselves, um, you know, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-love. Okay, uh, so keep going with the womb healing and the sacral chakra healing for the masculines. Um, I feel like you are shining really beautifully or light onto the world and that makes you you know, really beautiful, um, from inside out, there's a glow from the inside out I'm getting. And also in taking pleasure and enjoying all the beautiful things in life, beautifying your home, you know, noticing when you go out in the world, all the beautiful things right out in the world and look at this family. So if you guys are, this is the energy of abundance. This full moon is bringing in abundance. If you guys are working on staying balanced here, yeah, this actually came out for the uh, collective reading, okay? And that's exactly how we're going to maintain our balance here is for us to focus on gratitude. It's how we're going to stay in the vibration of abundance and the vibration of love. Use the moon. Use the moon energy, the full moon energy to take back your energy, to take back your power. That meditation is also on the community board. Uh, to capitalize, right? Uh, we can do that by writing down all of the things that we're trying to release from our energy under the full moon and writing down our intentions so make moon magic uh, moon water i heard moon water um this is a great time to manifest 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 there's a clearing that's taking place a purge as well but yeah for so it's important that you maintain your vibration of abundance and love we have abundance balance and gratitude um making a gratitude list getting out of lack of consciousness by focusing focus on the things that we are grateful for here okay in our lives and that would help with the balance as well balancing i heard balancing out spirituality and practicality by grounding your energy uh to protect your energy from psychic attacks call in archangel michael with this focus here focus intention interesting because that was a, the other card that came through today as well Right here, focus intention and be strong and sorceress. All of these came out earlier today. Um, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will and you will make your mark. And that came out together with the sorceress card. Okay, sorceress, sorcerer. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into your reality. So we're shifting our focus, right? Away from the things that we don't have out of lack and into abundance. Okay. Focus on abundance right now and focus on all the beautiful things that you're grateful for in this world right now at this time, because you're manifesting. It's something, uh, something magical, uh, that you sorceress energy is coming to fruition for you. You may not be seeing it yet, but, um, if you understand alchemy, you understand how magic works. You understand how to work with energy. You're a master alchemist. We saw the sorceress card, which means that you can alchemize lead into gold, fear into love, lack into abundance. Okay. By just by uh, focused intention, just by taking control of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Okay. Your thoughts create the feeling, the feeling creates the emotion. So if you're sending out any kind of lack vibration out into the world, any kind of fear, that's what you're manifesting. Okay. That the universe is saying, okay, let's give her more of that. Okay. So, um, the, the universe understands vibration and our vibration, it comes through our emotion. So it is important that you, um, listen to your body. I heard Claire audience, listen to the, 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 the thoughts right? The words that you hear in your mind. Okay. It's guiding you. Your intuition is guiding you. What else for Aquarius for this full moon? I have so much abundance here. Full moon and cancer for Aquarius. What else for full moon and cancer? We have balance, spirituality, and practicality. I said that. So make time, right? Uh, to prioritize your spiritual practices. Um, <clears throat> you could be focused on something right now. Uh, you know, when Aquarius energy focuses on something, we're fixated on it, you know, um, and that's what we're focused on. 
And I feel like there is a need to have a balance, uh, you know, with your work life, right? And um, scheduling and prioritizing. My throat chakra is going bonkers, so throat chakra energy. There could be some distractions while I was doing your reading. My phone was going off, you know, the phone calls coming. So it's like, it is important for you to uh, bl clear away all the distractions and um, make time for your spiritual practices to meditate, to go within so you can balance out the masculine, the feminine energy. <clears throat> Leo energy here. Don't let pride get in your way. What else for Aquarius? Your hard work is paying off right under abundance. We like the sound of that spirit time to Virgo energy time to time to give rather than take interesting because uh, with the Pisces energy here with this full moon, Neptune could be involved when it comes to um, us needing to come out of daydreamy land, come out of fantasy land, come out of that, right? Distractions here and, and, and focus on on your project focus on whatever it is that you're trying to bring into this world create into your reality okay um with 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 we're talking here about abundance with your hard work paying off new moon and capricorn that's the that's the next new moon so you might start to see results we are we are in capricorn season you might start to see results uh within or around um even more so uh, an abundance of it uh within or around the new moon and capricorn okay can i have one more for aquarius with the full moon and cancer keep going right stay focused um don't focus you know pay attention to your thoughts gather control of your thoughts so you're not focused on 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 the doubting and the fears and the lack that you focus solely use your affirmations to to transmute out we got new moon and cancer here. You and your loved ones are safe. Use affirmations and mantras to shift out of any kind of um, limiting thought or limiting mindset at this time. Because you're in a magical portal, it looks like, of manifesting. Stay focused. What else for Aquarius? One more. It's take time to breathe out. So, yeah. And have faith in your dreams. What's under that? A time for healing and be bold and make the first move. Okay, there's the crescent moon here. So have faith in your dreams. Don't lose faith. Right next to my little faith plaque. So take time to breathe out. Right under beauty. That's really going to help uh, for you to bring back balance and it's going to help for you to clear out any old patterns or any old energy as well i heard spirits say move your body and try to go outside for some fresh air you may have been indoor for too long okay let's see what you're needing to surrender at this time keep going family how beautiful is this the energy is shifting the energy is moving here i'm gonna split the deck for what you're being asked to surrender Surrender the habit of people pleasing. So we're healing codependency here. Speak your needs. We're setting boundaries. Be true to yourself and focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Big Aquarius energy here. Uh, everybody really likes to label us and, 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 and think of us as being cold hearted and cold and detached and this and that and the other. But that's not true. Right. Uh, we're one of the most, we're the humanitarians. We're one of the most giving and loving signs that there is in the Zodiac. And uh, we have a habit of putting other people before us. And uh, that's part of our soul's journey here is to learn to create a better balance here when it comes to, you know, giving, making sure we, our cup is full so that we can, you know, give from a, from, from a full cup. We have here, there's a lot of heart chakra healing that's taking place right now. So we can open up to receive the new as well. Abundance is coming in. All of your hard work is paying off. Take time to breathe out. I think that came out in the full moon reading as well uh, The for the collective. and uh, But it came out in the archangel deck. Um you want to inhale through your nose for four or five seconds, belly up, diaphragmatic breathing. I feel there's some tension in your shoulder, in your jaw. 
uh, hold it for a few, for maybe a couple of seconds, and then exhale, belly all the way in, okay, and release the tension, right, release the worries, when you're exhaling, you're releasing, 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 um, and when you're inhaling, you're calling in abundance, you're calling in love and light, right, healing energies, right, so um, when you inhale, you're calling in all that you want, unconditional love, light, love, make your list, right? And you, you can do that mo several times. Keep releasing everything that you don't want stuck in stagnant energy. Um, it, it's a good time to do a sh complete chakra reset as well. I, I did it. And that was the guidance um, in, in, in this morning's collective full moon and cancer reading. What else for Aquarius? This needs to surrender during the, the cancer full moon. What does Aquarius need to surrender? Surrender to having a good time to humor, to play, to childlike energy. This is heart chakra and sacral chakra. So I'm already getting three chakras here. I'm getting um, four actually. I'm getting third eye. I'm getting sacral, solar plexus, as well as root. So again, you could benefit from doing a complete chakra reset. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play time. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Right on the balance, spirituality and practicality and focus. So this is present moment energy here. This came out in the Cancer Full Moon for the collective reading. Let go. Right? Flow. The feminine energy. Opening of the heart chakra as well. Lighthearted energy here. Free spirited energy as well, which is this. It's time for your goofy, quirky self to come out and play. You're so serious. Uh, flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassion, accepting it exactly as it is will give you peace. Yeah. Just stop trying to resist or force something to happen when it's not happening. It's not happening for a reason. Trust the pauses and the delays. What else for the Aquarius Collective for the full moon needs to surrender? Again with the sur That actually jumped. I split the deck to it and it actually jumped. And see all this purple? That's a uh, crown chakra energy. Okay, and third eye as well. Uh, surrender the habit of people pleasing. And, and it's time for you to receive. You're always the giver, okay? It's time for you to open yourself up to receive. So that's feminine energy. So work on um, opening yourself up to receive the love and support that you deserve and are worthy of. Allow the love and support of others in instead of trying, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This is extreme independence. It's a trauma response. Take this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. And then we have a surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Set your boundaries. Focus twice here on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have surrender the spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine and let spirit work its magic for you. All right. <clears throat> what else do we have got going on here for Aquarius? What is the message for Aquarius for the full moon in Cancer? So lots of abundance coming in. Shift your focus. I just saw the nine of pentacles. Let's split the deck. We have the ten of swords. We're done with this cycle. It's time to rise. It's time to have fun. It's time to receive your abundance. I feel like you are shifting your focus away. Oh, this deck is the worst to shuffle. All right, last shuffle. Sorry if that was loud. Yeah, here it is again. Ten of Swords. Let me split the deck or cut the deck. We have the higher font here. So you could be a spiritual guru, a teacher, okay? And um, and that's what I feel is, is, is a, some of you guys could be in a spiritual career. Some of you guys are actually seeking counsel and guidance from a spiritual healer or a teacher at this time. Um, let's see what else. Or you could just be have Taurus in your chart or be dealing with the Taurus. So this could just be Saturn in our second house here, okay? Um, what else is going on for Aquarius? What is the message for Aquarius for the full moon in Cancer? This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter, North Node.
take control of your thoughts, focus, okay? Uh, this overthinking right under play, take, t take a break from overthinking a goal of yours. It's again, Wow, we have surrendered to success. You're about to be so, and surrendered to your full power. You're about to be so, release your worries here. Divine timing is at play. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of success here that wants to come in. And, but you're being asked to unleash your wild side, unleash to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. This is needing to believe in yourself, outdated limiting beliefs, okay? And um, there's something that's on your mind that you keep replaying it over and over again. You feel stuck on something, on how to do something, or what's under the deck? Death card, Scorpio energy. So th there's definitely something that needs to change and transform here. I feel it's going to be the end of this energy. This energy here is what's creating the emotional exhaustion. Because when we're in our heads a lot, right? Um, it creates the feeling and that feeling creates the emotion. Okay. So ground your energy. You might need to do a cord cutting. There's still, there's still some things here that needs to be released when it comes to outdated thinking and limitations, victim consciousness here, forgiveness. There's something you're still stuck on. She's standing in the puddle of water, which is saying, you know, um, there is a need to, to connect with your emotions, sacral chakra, because this is how, this is how Aquarius processes. This is how Aquarius, um, when we're talking about emotional overwhelm, it starts like this for Aquarius. Okay. So honor your emotions right now. You're overthinking something here. That's why spirit said it, balance is needed in your life. What else? Give me one more. A couple more here for cancer formal message for Aquarius. We have the hermit. Yeah, it's time to go within. It's time to withdraw, to unplug from the mass consciousness here it's with the people pleasing, right? It's time to unplug. It's time to retreat your energy because whatever it is here, whatever you're seeking uh, to unstuck yourself uh, regarding some kind, whatever goal uh, you're, you're trying to achieve here, right? Virgo energy here. Didn't we see Virgo? We saw Virgo energy a time to give rather than take. Uh, you are good enough at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, take a sacred pause because there is something here that you're needing to change your perspective on and change your mind on here with the eight of swords. Okay. The hermit here is saying it's time to go within. It's time to unplug. It's time to retreat, spend some time in solitude, spend some time alone, um, in meditation. Spend some time alone in meditation, self-reflecting. That came out in the in the in the full moon reading as well. Self-reflecting, soul searching, and introspecting, doing some shadow work. The answers you seek is within. Look, it's so interesting. She has a, a belt with a star on it. And that's the star card. So that's you. And normally, you know, the hermit is holding the lantern with the star in it, right? So this is talking about following your North Star. What else for Aquarius Collective for the Cancer Full Moon? Seven of Cups here. So, yeah, I feel like there's something that you're needing to take time to breathe out right under here. There's a lot of options, confusion, possible illusion. We saw Pisces energy, Neptune energy here, okay? Um, a lot of procrastinating even when it comes to a goal. There's a, I, I, I can't see my way out. I, can't, I don't know what to do next. You know, I don't know which direction to go. There's a huge life decision, a huge decision that needs to be made. There is, it's cloudy right now for you, okay? And it's putting you, it's making you feel uncomfortable. This is an uncomfortable energy to be in, okay? When we feel stuck, Aquarius is an air sign. Uh, work on your heart chakra. You're going to feel a lot lighter. Air Swords represent heart chakra. It's heart chakra energy. Ground your energy, root chakra as well, and throat chakra, I heard. Um, again, all of them. <laughs> so this is a lot of um, 
I'm also getting your, your, the universe, spirit, God, source, universe, Archangel Michael is trying to communicate with you, um, uh, giving you signs and synchronicities. Okay. When it comes to which direction to go next, but it's, I feel like because we're not grounded and we're not focused here, a little distracted, uh, absent-minded even. It, it, you're finding a hard time to decipher the messages and the signs of synchronicity, or even believing that it is a sign for you. And, um, if you think everything is connected, everything's a sign. So if you feel like something, this is trying to tell you something, and this is for you, most likely it is. Okay. Most likely it is. So there's a, there's a, there's a decision here. Ask for help. Re surrender to receiving support and love when it comes to this here. Okay. There's a lot of daydreamy energy here and procrastination. Can I, can you please clarify here? The eight of swords, the seven of swords. These thoughts are deceiving you. These thoughts are deceiving you. Okay. They're not real yet. Yeah. Okay. So you're going through, you're going to get a breakthrough. Okay. You're going, the angels are helping you. They're saying, answer the call, answer the call, answer the call. There is a rising up from the ashes here as the Phoenix. Okay. Uh, this is you releasing judgment on yourself, release the pressure that you're feeling here when it comes to whatever goal, uh, that you're trying to achieve. Okay. Whatever it is that you're overthinking, right? Um, Go within, ask the angels for help. Call in the angels, okay, at this time to help you. Lots of swords here. We have seven of swords, ten of swords, eight of swords. My God. And this this full moon and the Mercury retrograde is really helping you to take your power back. Queen of Wands, right? And, and, and to take action on your creative ideas. The Queen of Wands is a very beautiful energy, sorceress energy, right? Uh, alchemist, creative. This is somebody that, you know, takes action as a leader in her life, home, family, community. You know, this is somebody that's very passionate about life, very magical, very mystical, alluring, intriguing, fascinating, okay? This is uh, somebody that is extremely spiritual even. So this is a rising from the ashes, Aquarius is a rising from the ashes, right? Um, <clears throat> so these thoughts that are coming up for you, it feels like it's um, regarding something, some kind of... Uh, betrayal or some kind of trauma that you've experienced it's coming up for you for you to clear it for you to heal it okay for you to forgive to release judgment on yourself and others to release the pressure you're putting on yourself and others right so that you can rise from the ashes it's the final nail in the coffin it's the final ending of this already it cannot hold it cannot tie you up anymore it cannot hold you back anymore it cannot keep you stuck anymore okay it's the end of that so uh, these thoughts aren't real. They're deceiving you. Aquarius energy here. <clears throat> Judgment showing up a lot saying that it is time to do the forgiveness affirmations, the forgiveness work, the heart and sacral chakra work here. Can I have one for the hermit? <clears throat> I was called to a deck. Which one was it? I think it was this little angels deck. Oh yeah, it was Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael saying, yeah, it, uh-huh. It's time to disconnect and to retreat with the hermit here, to quiet your mind, to quiet your thoughts, to practice stillness in meditation and in contemplation. I posted a bunch of meditation, uh, not a, uh, on the community board and a couple different ones. I, I posted a take your power back, uh, take your energy back. <clears throat> throat chakra is uh, acting up. So work on your throat chakra. Um, take your energy back, take your power back and another one for emotional exhaustion. Okay. And, and feeling tired emotionally, which is what I feel here. It's time to rest. Okay. To go within here and meditate so you can come back into balance. Okay. In your life. Archangel Michael, what is the message they have for Aquarius? Pray from the heart, ask the angels for help. I talked about that in uh er, in the in the reading from this morning. Prayer can really move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch the miracle unfold. And surrender to spirit. Okay. 
Archangel Michael, what's the message for Aquarius right now? Right now, it's important for you to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Right here. Surrender to receiving love and support from others. You do so much for others. Yes, you do. Okay. It's time for you to experience the love that you deserve and let others come to you. Surrender to receive. Ask for help. Ask for help. Okay. I'm going to leave that right here. Cause that's a, that it's looking like that's a message, strong message. There could be some things coming up because it is Mercury retrograde and it is the full moon and, 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 and cancer for you to release from the past. Yeah. It's time for you to heal your heart. The angel Archangel Raphael is here. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Didn't we see that right here? A time for healing. Let me show that to you. A time for healing is about to bless your life, Aquarius. It could be physical also. Okay, you could be experiencing body aches, ascension symptoms, growing pains. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. One more Archangel Michael for Aquarius. Trust your angels at this time. Release judgment. We keep seeing the judgment card. Open your heart. Call on Archangel Shamuel for this and work on your heart chakra. Okay. Number 22 here. No one's perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal the situation. So whatever this is, you may have been betrayed really badly, Aquarius. Okay. Somebody may have lied, stolen, cheated, tricked you manipulated you stabbed you in the back okay uh thief i heard thief ran out a thief thief of energy thief of money thief of time okay and um this i don't know how recent this was for you okay some of you guys experienced this already in the past and, it, and you can't you're having a hard time moving on and forward from that right uh for others of you this is fresh it's, it's going to be different, right? For all of you guys. And um, learn the lesson uh, from this so it can close out. And we don't ever repeat it again. We don't ever work on the inner wiring, the inner healing. So that you don't attract, you don't repeat the cycle, right? So you don't attract, this, uh, the, so you, you can use your intuition and your discernment. And you don't attract people like this into your life anymore. Um So there is a need to detach here, like Spirit said in this deck, in this card. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, trust your. You need to work on faith, having more faith and trust. When it comes to your faith, right there. When it comes to your journey here, okay. Uh, The angels are standing close by. Call them in and ask them for help. Okay. They, they Miracles unfold every time you do ask. I've seen it happen in my own life. We have let go of your expectations, Aquarius, of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan for you. Um, the detachment affirmations and the let go affirmations, forgiveness affirmations, uh, releasing judgment affirmation is also all of that is on is in is in the community board okay during this time that you're going within and resting and healing here you listen to your body uh, that's when you can possibly lay down on your bed and start playing these affirmations while you close your eyes okay it's a very painful ending here i feel like you're trying to figure out why this happened um Trying to figure out whether or not your mind's playing tricks on you. What is what is what is it that your emotions and your feelings are trying to tell you? Hermit, clarify hermit for Aquarius. Yeah, that actually jumped. I have shuffled, put it back in, shuffled the deck. Yeah, it's time to go within. It's time to rest. I'm hearing burnout energy here. Okay. Yeah, it's time, it's time to. 11, 11 here. Okay. Everything is going to be all right. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to pull from the Archangel's uh, deck as well to get you some additional guidance. 
uh, clarify the seven of cups. It's time to retreat from the world right now and take time to breathe out in meditation. Okay, surrender, let go, release your attachment to whatever this is. Clarify the seven of cups, five of pentacles. What is this energy today, Aquarius? Four of cups. Over it, it says over it. Six of cups. It's about some 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 kind of soulmate from the past. Past life soulmate here. Uh missing somebody. Having nostalgia. Reconciliation. This could be even healing from inner child. Um you're feeling confused, feeling alone, feeling a little lost, feeling out in the cold, feeling rejected and abandoned here. Okay, there's going to be an opportunity for somebody's going to reach out. It's going to be an opportunity for some kind of reconciliation here with a past life soulmate from your past. And I don't know if you're going to be interested in it. Um, it you, you seem a little closed off right now emotionally. When Aquarius is going through something like this, Aquarius is withdraws, right? I'll see you in three to five business days, right? And, and goes inward, right? Uh, that's how Aquarius is processes uh, things, okay? Um, but again, with the seven of cups is we're trying to figure out our situation. It could be money for you guys, right? It could be finances. Our, and again, abundance is here. Keep focusing here, putting your ideas, taking charge of your energy and the emperor taking charge of your energy. Keep focusing on, on, on your, what you're creating on taking action here on what you're creating, what you're building, what you're studying, because it's coming to fruition for you. We saw the fruition card was one of the first cards we saw, but again, this is like, don't let distractions here get in the way of, um, opportunities coming towards you. There is an opportunity coming towards you. You may not be open to it and be closed off to it at this time because of whatever's going on with you internally that you're trying to heal and clear and come back into balance about playing, going, finding time for joy, uh, watching something funny, a uh, passion project, whatever is fun for you to do, whatever you dancing, singing, whatever is fun. Uh, every, fun is different for everybody, right? <laughs> for some people have fun cooking and baking. Some people have fun gardening. Some people have fun with their friends and family. Whatever is fun, do that. Follow these. Uh, you're invited by the divine to follow the guidance here so that you can come back into balance. Call in Archangel Raphael. Call, uh, meditate with Archangel Raphael, right? To get you out of this energy of loss and lack and boredom and apathy and discontent and over it energy and just trying to figure your way out of it okay um you're not alone spirit said um allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you um do an empath cleanse family I, if you're not in this energy right this could be somebody in your energy that you have a very strong emotional bond that's deep and unbreakable and you could be feeling their energy and trying and, and you don't understand what, what's going on what, what you know is this mine is this somebody else's energy right so um there is a lot okay so there is a lot of options coming towards you be careful who and what you trust at this time one of these cups is your cup is the divine cup I feel like you've been exploring your options, okay? It, it feels that way. And you're ready, you already went through three cups out of these seven. And it's like, no, not for me. <laughs> you know, it, 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 I feel like there is a losing hope, a losing faith, a uh, getting discouraged, okay? Energy here when it comes to, I don't know what these cups represent for you. It could be keep trying and keep going because your hard work is, you're just getting started, I heard. You, you, you're having a bumpy start, right? Uh, stay the course here, okay? Uh, it's not cup number one. It's not cup number two. It's not cup number three. But here comes the divine cup when you least expect it. it lo of love. The cup of love from the divine, okay? Here it comes when you, le when you least expect it. When you're no longer looking. When you finally detach from it. 
which is what spirit said to do. Detach. When you detach, right, there's another offer, another cup coming. We have six and seven of cups here, okay? So when you least expect it, here it comes. Here it comes. Good news, the right opportunity, the right cup, right? Right now, it's like this. When you can't solve a problem or a situation, move away from it. Take a step back so you can see it from a different perspective, so you can see it from, a, I don't know, the bigger picture, right? You know how it is. It's like, <sighs> what would be a good example? Like you're putting something together and it's like overwhelming you and it's stressing you out because you can't figure it out. But when you take a step back and take a break from it, that's when you get the solution. That's when you get the idea. That's when you get the clarity on it, right? And that's what you're being asked to do. With retreat from whatever situation, so uh, the, the issue, problem, goal, or whatever that you're focused on, that you are overthinking about, and um, take a breather, take a break, and then you'll get you'll get the clarity, the idea, the solution, you know, uh, that, that you're seeking here. Okay. So, uh, let me pull from, I want to pull from the fortune card here for you guys. Patience, slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. Have patience. The moon energy here. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Your intuition is trying to uh, kind of guide you, but we can't hear in this eight of swords energy of limitations. Something is coming to an end. Okay. Uh, pay attention to your health at this time. Spirit, what is uh, the fortune for Aquarius with a full moon in Cancer? So all of these emotions that's coming up, I just heard, we, you know, we don't handle emotions the way other signs do. Uh, so there, you could, a lot of things could be coming up for you right now. Emotionally, that could be overwhelming you. Okay. And, um, and, and that's why spirit is saying that I heard spirit say this too shall pass. Yeah. Right now, be very careful with who you trust. I think you know that use your intuition and use your discernment. Okay. Your intuition is very strong. I don't know why I saw thief here, thief in your energy. It's like this. It's like when there is not the best energy in your energy, you an alarm will go off. Your body will, will tense up, will close up, right? Will shut down. Will you'll feel tense, you'll feel uncomfortable. You feel like something is off. Trust that. Trust that and retreat your energy. The moon again. What is the the fortune for Aquarius for the Cancer full moon? Again with the beware be careful who you trust at this time. That actually literally jumped. I think you know that. I think you know that, Aquarius. Okay. Um, ugh. Just, you know, just watch your surroundings. Be conscious. Be aware. Call in Archangel Michael. I, I worked with Archangel Michael la just last night. I will post uh, Archangel Michael invocation meditation, which is very powerful on the community board. Suggest you listen to it and then you can trust Trust your angels. You can let go, right? And, and know that Archangel Michael will alert you, will block outside energies that's not for you. Archangel Michael, please protect me from everything and anything and anyone that isn't unconditional love, that doesn't have the best and highest intention for my best and highest good, that isn't coming from a place of light, love, and purity of their intention, right? Um, call Archangel Michael in and, and ask for protection, protect my family, my loved ones, uh, and continue right with your prayer. And then you say, and so it is. And so it is. And so it is. It is done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Archangel Michael. Right. And then we have patience here at the bottom of the deck. Have patience. You're on this beautiful, you know, spiritual journey here. You might have somebody reach out to you here that I don't think you trust. This is, this is this person and this communication might put you in your head. You might need a retreat to think about it. Okay. Um, that's yeah. Family. It's looking like that. It's looking like you're going to have somebody that's going to reach out to you possibly when you're not looking, when you're working. Okay. could be this emperor energy here, uh, masculine energy, divine masculine energy, and uh, somebody from your past, you, you, it's going to overwhelm you a little bit here. You know, um, 
you may have already had this come in and then it came and it left just as quickly as it came and, uh, and, and, and left you confused. Okay. Again, I'm still, I'm having the special still. So reach out to me if you guys need some more additional, um, clarification, but I do hope and get you an angel message. I do hope that this reading, you know, gave you the clarity, the healing, the understanding, the insight, the gentle reassurance, the, uh, um, validation and confirmation that you were seeking. All right, angels, uh, what is the guidance for Aquarius for this full moon and cancer right now? You're being asked to prioritize self-care very much. So surrender. Yeah. Wow. Four Aquarius. The angels are here to help you. Okay. Very much. So we have discipline, vulnerability. You're feeling very vulnerable right now. Abundance again. Yes, we receive, we receive, um, surrender. I'm going to read them all. Whatever you, whatever you resist in life persists, ask your angels to help you to dissolve all the resistance of your ego, the inner conflict and struggle, the rigid mindsets and habits so that they can flood, so that they can flood your life with higher truth and joy. When you surrender to the guidance of your higher self, hermit, all of the energy you have been using in resistance becomes available to you. Vitality, inner peace and harmony, and most of all, love are your spiritual rewards. You could be feeling these resistance really strongly right now because you're going through a major change. Okay. And it's normal and it's hum very human nature, you know, uh, when you're going through a major change, growth, um, your body, you know, has this alarm, right? That goes off uh, to, and your ego flares up, you know, to protect you, okay? So know the difference between what's real here with your thoughts, what's higher self and what isn't. So flow with the pace of life. Relax and tune in. Then follow the guidance of your intuition, knowing that the angels will support you at all times. I surrender your affirmation. I surrender to the flow of life. Vulnerability. Only the brave and open hearted dare to allow themselves to be vulnerable. For it requires courage to take down all the walls and expose your humanness. Your angel guidance is to become aware of your defense mechanisms, which keep you separate from others and the divine. So you're being asked to be vulnerable right now, or you could be feeling very vulnerable right now, and you are retreating because of that. Okay. Right here in the, in the four swords and, and hermit, ask your angels to help you to dissolve your masks and barriers so that your fragile true self can emerge like a butterfly from its cocoon. I'm getting drowning energy. The reward is freedom, drowning in your emotions, right? The reward is freedom, love, and a sense of inner safety. I, I don't know why I heard spirits say, like, feeling suffocated, I can't breathe, I'm, my emotions are overwhelming me. You know, I'm feeling like, like a panicky kind of, like, energy of, like, um, feeling like your hands are tied in a situation, like you don't have control or like you lost control, you know, uh, that's on purpose because you're meant to just surrender. You're not meant to know it all or everything that's happening for you or control everything. Okay. Don't, you're meant to just take control over your own energy, not of what anyone else or what everything else is going on around you to come back to the present moment. The, the reward is, is freedom, love, and a sense of inner safety. So dare to be vulnerable and open. Your affirmation, vulnerability is my strength. We have discipline. An unruly dog is a hazard to itself and others. The animal which has learned discipline and obedience can be trusted and, it, and will lo loyally and lovingly serve its master. It is then allowed off its lead. lead. And then, and then, and then it's allowed off. It's, I guess they meant to write leash, but they wrote lead through discipline comes freedom. The master you are called on to obey is your higher self. Again, with the higher self, follow that, not your ego. You came to earth on a mission and only self-discipline would enable you to fulfill it. 
tune in and ask your angels for their help and support so that your life becomes happy and rewarding and divinely directed. Discipline is a key to, a fu to fulfilling your destiny. Affirmation. Self-discipline brings me freedom. So yeah, you're not feeling very free right now when you are a very free spirited sign and that's uncomfortable for you. Okay. Uh, we have abundance twice. It is time for your life to flow with prosperity, love, and success. Yes, we receive. And it's coming in here for you, okay? Um, you, draw, you draw from this limitless universal pool according to your belief in how much you deserve. Angel wisdom is reminding you now to believe in yourself to, and trust that you deserve more. Then you will attract abundance and the true riches of life. To feel surrounded by love, open your heart to others. Choose to do what fulfills you most and the angels will bring you joy, satisfaction, and success. Enhance your prosperity by receiving graciously, giving out willingly, and saying thank you to everything. Enjoy all that you have and more will come to you. That's that gratitude we saw, right? Where was it? Right here. So with this power card here, and we have surrender to success and surrender to your full power, you have the ability, Aquarius, to transform and come out of whatever this is that's going on within you right now, okay? Whatever these worries are that's coming up for you when it comes to the patience and divine timing, okay? We have drama here as well. So there, there's some things here that's triggering you or there's something that's going on in your energy, right? that um that uh, you 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 have the tools within you and the resources uh and your higher self your intuition that's going to guide you to freedom right that guide you to wholeness and guide you you know exactly what to do in meditation in contemplation in prayer to get yourself okay back into balance and back into alignment Okay, and uh, and to open your heart to receive at this time. Beautiful message, a family. I will see you guys again real soon. I love you all, and God bless you. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, and um, for every which way you guys show up for yourselves, for each other, and for me in our community. God bless you all. Mm -hmm. Namaste, family. Until next time.